this is hi from parul and now we are going to start web a web application development with html so whenever you are uh, thinking to jump into web development the first thing first thing first basic step is html okay so this is outline that we are going to cover in this whole session first is introduction to html then basic html tags for example paragraph header font like that html table forms in forms uh, we will cover uh, many validation or uh, many val validation attribute also after that introduction to html5 html5 tag so let's start first with what is web page so web page is a text file containing html okay so uh for what uh, for for what html stands for so html stands for hypertext markup language which is a notation for describing first one document structure that is a semantic markup okay document structure like uh in document you can see that uh, just take example of a book okay in book what is structure of book first one is a pure cover page okay and in this in this uh, book uh, your chapters are divided and in chapters having title paragraph like that okay so over here in web document this is also same that means your web document it is has a title heading section like that okay so this is a document structure after that formatting that is a presentation markup now you can see that uh, in document uh whenever you are uh, filling it con with content okay so you uh, you you put some point notations like that just for formatting purpose okay so that it looks good and the content will be readable so here uh, here is a same for web document also so finally html is a language for describing document structure and formatting html tags provide information about page content structure yeah uh, for example uh, if uh, there is one tag that is p tag okay and p tag is for paragraph so p tag it provide information that this page contain one paragraph creating html page so now whenever you create html page the first thing is your html page your html file it must have dot htm or dot html file extension now it can be created with text editor so uh, notepad and notepad plus plus these tools are a basic or i can say a simple text editor okay but if you are looking for wysi wyg that means what you see is what you get for example whatever you are writing whatever tag you are ap applying okay okay so it will be directly visible to you and editor uh, itself how it will look okay you don't have to uh, run it uh, to check in browser itself so this uh, this kind of editors are microsoft front page micromedia adobe remover netscape composer visual studio uh, besides of that there is a uh, atom also okay but uh, it is uh, it is not free after that let's see first html page how to create html page so this is my simplest html page if i want to create simple html uh, html page with minimum coding this is the code that i must i must uh, i i have to must write it so over here you can see that this is name of my file taste.html you can see that file uh, extension is .html okay so and this is my output over here you can see that this is output of my page so now let's just check structure of any html web document so html comprise of elements and tags okay so generally it begins with html and and sweet forward slash html over here this is angular brackets okay and element name it should be within angular brackets so this is beginning and this is ending every page start with opening html tag and every page ends with closing html tag 
elements are nested one inside another over here you can see that this is our beginning of html ending of html okay and within this html tag there are two nested element that is one is head tag and another is body tag and this tag are also opened and closed that means with, uh, they are used in pair tags have attribute uh, for example i am a human body okay and i have parts like a hand shoulder head coming like that okay so these are my element just like my web document my web page have elements like paragraph table form like that okay so just compare uh, just uh, um, by listening you just assume and compare human body and your web document also so over here there are organs okay like uh, parts and over here in web document there are contents for example paragraph table uh, articles section like that okay so now in human body there is a, a attribute for part for example for my head for example hair okay so hair it it can have a, um, how how long they are color like that if you are look uh, if i'm uh, concern about skin then there is also attribute that is a skin tone for human body itself there are two, uh, two, two attribute that is height and weight okay like this so these are the attribute of attribute for human body uh, same goes with html web document also uh, uh, whatever element all attribute attribute have some uh, all elements have some attributes for example this one is image tag okay image tag by name itself you can get the idea of for what purpose it is used image tag is used to represent image in your web document so over here this one is my image tag okay and first is angular bracket then tag name and after that with uh, with putting space there comes attribute name attribute name over here is src that is source this is attribute and after that equal and in double quotation i have mentioned value of attribute okay so remember always remember that thing attribute always comes in pair that is attribute name and its value attribute name and its value like that over here this is a second attribute alt for alternative and value is logo we will check it out later also image tag so html describes structure using two main section the first one is head and second one is body html code formatting so html source code it should be formatted to increase readability and facilitate debugging so uh, there are some uh, rules that uh, you should follow for good practicing in html code every blo block element should start on a new line every nested element should be indented browser ignore multiple white space in page source so formatting is hard maps uh, in coding if you want to space uh, if you want to uh, put space you can do that uh, it will not be reflected in your actual web page so first html page okay so tags so over here uh, this is a simplest simplest code to represent my first html page okay and html element it consists of an opening tag closing tag and content inside whenever you use tag okay so uh, purpose of using tag is to display something uh, on your web page and whatever you are displaying is content okay so over here this is my title tag but obviously title tag which is used uh, to specify title to my web page so this is my opening tag and this one is my closing tag after that let's see header portion okay doc type uh, so this is header section 
okay now in head section i have used one tag that is title tag so whatever uh, if you want to uh, show your content on your web document you should not cover it in head head document it goes to body section okay so what will come in head section so first uh, you can see that title comes into head section after that meta tag which is very useful uh, tag in terms of it uh, it describe metadata uh, data about your data that means data about your web page for example uh, 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 for what purpose this page is uh, uh, in which language it is and uh, in which format it is which format it is uh, whether it is support uh, uh, viewport or not whether it is uh, responsive or not Th this kind of data is stored in head section besides that also you can put your script tag and css tag for for example style tag in your head section so this is your html header part okay now body part html this is our root tag okay inside over here this is head okay and after that here it comes body tag now whatever you want to show whatever you want to display in your web page it comes into body section it comes into body section so for example i want to display paragraph it comes into body section this is my body section okay so this is a basic html structure of any web page okay so now i am just creating one simple one simple html page in notepad plus plus editor okay so first thing you can do this is uh, this is just a ui of notepad plus plus when i open it now uh, I am going to uh, I am going to create one HTML one HTML file. Okay, so uh, whenever you save this file, you you have to explicitly mention dot HTML extension. Otherwise, you can uh, set language over here like this. You can see that language and h for html and just select it okay so now language is set that is your html so now let me just start the first thing is doc type doc type like that html okay so what uh, for what purpose this line is this line will tell your browser that this is a document type okay this is a web document so you so you represent it in that format only so after that here it comes our root tag that is html okay so let me just comment over here i want to add it in comment okay comment for what for uh, for example this line will tell you tell browser to display this as a web document okay and just comment is over let me just okay now you can see that this is how you put comment in your html file so this is our root tag root tag that is html okay and always remember one point whenever you are whenever you opening html tag just write there close it html like that okay and whatever you want to write inside it after that it do it why uh, why uh, why i am suggesting is that because whenever you create your web page it it it, ha it, uh, it 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 can be possible that it can have multiple multiple lines code okay and if you just forgot it you can you will not uh, you will not directly identify it and you may just get uh, improper 
uh, improper order of your element okay so it is a better practice to uh, opening and closing at the same time of any html tag so after that there comes now this is nesting of tag so i am just providing intent like that okay this this is in a, inappropriate after that it comes head tag and head tag close okay i can do uh, uh, it is also valid but it is not readable in not in readable format okay so i am just giving tab over here like that now this is nested tag and this is our head section this is our head section okay so inside head here comes our title tag title tag open as well as close over here you can see that in notepad plus plus whenever i am typing like uh, tag like that okay i can see uh, uh, there is one drop down menu which uh, which uh, give you suggestion or uh, and list of tag that you want to write so for example over here title so what is title so title is my first web doc okay this is title right now i am not uh, adding any metadata related information okay now this head tag is over and i am just going to start our body section so body tag opening and body tag closing like that now inside this body tag i am just using paragraph tag okay p for paragraph and let me just write this this is hi from parul's first web document and p tag closing okay so this is a simple web document web document okay over this is your okay you can see that whenever you click on particular tag you will get a pair of it for example this is opening html this is closing html this is opening head this is closing head okay if you have not written it well like this even if you, if you click on this you will uh, identify error that i have missed it out okay so let me just complete it now let me just save it over here you can see that save in save as type you got uh, type as html okay uh, html or htm why because i have already set language as html but if have i i haven't uh, save it as html then i have to mentioned my uh, ex uh, file name with extension okay over here i have already selected language that's why i have to just write file name so that is first page okay my file name is first page so let me just save this okay and now to view uh, output of this uh, obviously this is a web page so uh, to uh, to see output i have to run it in browser okay so over here you can see that there is a run button and if you click on it i got list of web browser that are installed in my uh, system okay and i am just uh, i will just select my usual one that is launch in chrome just wait for a while your browser is working for me okay okay this is hi from parul's first web document this is what you got message okay i have written this content in p tag but p is not there just content is there okay so and over here you can see that i have uh, this is my first web doc which is a content from my title tag okay as i have tell you whatever comes in head section it will not displayed in your web page that is 
your this area okay it is over here as uh, title for your uh, for your uh, tab application okay over here you can see that this is our path path of file where it is saved so this is your uh, first web uh, first web page in html i hope you understood it and just practice it and keep learning bye bye